How's it going everybody and you're welcome back. In our last lesson we saw how we could work with functions in Python. We created various examples using functions. We created functions that could accept arguments from users. We also created a function that could take in values or parameters and display the results based on calculations. We also went ahead and created a function to calculate areas and function that could return results and then use those results when we call those functions. If you find this all confusing or you're new to functions, please free, feel free to check out the video on functions where I begin from scratch and show you what functions are. Today, we're going to learn how to create Lambda expressions sometimes in Python you might need to create a function within your program that you're going to use in a very short period of time when your program is running if that's the case then it might be important to just use a lambda uh, function or lambda expression rather than creating a function that's going to you know consume up more space in your program a lambda function is called an anonymous function as well because it doesn't have a name it's actually anonymous and uh, let's go ahead and see how we can work with uh, lambda expressions so i've created a new python file and i've called that lam 15 lambda underscore begin dot py so the first thing i'll do is just create a comment to um, i'll just say working with lambda expressions or lambda functions it doesn't matter so let's first look at a regular example of a named python function say i have a function called name oops i'll just say name and it accepts one argument so it accepts a string called name so i'm going to return name so basically if we save this function we're going to return a name so i'll just create this variable called name and it's going to be equal to name and i'll pass in the argument i'll just say mahmoos so i'm actually using uh, my name here as an argument and i'll just go ahead and print out using an f string the content so i'm just going to say hi my name is and i'll use a uh, i'll just do this and i'll just say name like so and just to make this interesting we'll do that so this is a regular function in python that has the name says hi my name is mahmoos and i'll just do a cls declare that's uh, cls not csl <laughs> good so now that we've done that we've seen we have a function here and the name of this function is name so let's see how we can create a uh, nameless function using lambda that accepts arguments as well so let's say using lambda so now that i have this what we're going to do is to actually look at the syntax so to create a uh, lambda expression you're going to say a lambda you're going to pass in the keyword lambda and then you pass in the arguments or parameters you use a single colon and then you provide the expression which is what the function does. So to see that as a live example, I'm going to create a, uh, let's say Lambda. So that's the keyword Lambda. And then I'm going to create one argument called name, and then I'm going to use the colon and then I'll pass the expression. So this is going to concatenate a string called hi, and I'll say plus name, like so. And what I'm also going to do is to store this in a variable called greeting. So I'll say greeting is going to be equal to this lambda expression, like so. So this is the argument, which is a parameter, just like we have a parameter in a regular Python function. And then this is the expression. It's going to take this string and then add or concatenate that string with name, like so. So let's go ahead and print greeting and here i'm going to pass in the argument in this greeting function so i'm just going to say mahmoos like so so if we save this and run it it just says hi mahmoos right so this is the uh, lambda function working right here we actually have a function but we're not calling the function with a name because it doesn't have a name. 
we just simply say lambda and then we pass in an argument and then we can pass in the expression basically that's what we want this to do let's create a uh, lambda expression that can perform some simple math let's say uh, that raises the value of an argument to the power of three so to do so i'll first create a variable i'll just call that power three which is going to be equal to lambda remember the keyword the syntax is to uh i think i should call this the syntax all right so that's the uh, syntax so i'm going to say lambda and i'll create the uh, argument and i'll call that number and use my column and then what do i want number to happen to number and what do i want this expression to do well i want it to raise the value of my arguments to three so i'm just going to say number raised to the power of three like so so now that i've done that what i'm going to do is just print out the results on the screen so i'll use an f string and i'll just say the answer is going to be equal to and right here I'll just pass in the uh, variable that's to holding a reference now this is actually going to be a function if we print out the type of power tree which we are going to do it's actually going to be you know a uh, function but let's actually see this uh, result and now let's actually pass in the uh, value we want to calculate the power for so I can do something like say uh, point six seven and just right here I'll do a colon and I'll do point two f because I want to return our results to two significant figures so if I save this and run it the answer is zero point uh, three zero and I could actually change this let's just do a single whole number and say two raised to the power of uh, three and let's run that and we're actually getting eight so the, the reason why we're getting these two uh, fractional points is because i told it to return the result in two significant figures if i just leave the expression like this and i run this we're actually going to see our answer returns the number uh, eight so we can also use a lambda function as an anonymous function in another function so let's see that's uh let's actually see an example so let's see uh, using a lambda expression in a function All right so uh let me create a function uh let's say def some basic math that's the name of our function and our function has an argument and i'm going to call that argument number so what we're actually going to do is to create a uh, function that adds a number to an argument just a basic simple stuff so we'll actually uh, we can return a lambda and i'll call that num which is the uh, argument so what do I want to do with the argument? Well, I want to add num plus the number. So basically I want to add the num value, which is this one, the argument to the number. So basically when I'm calling this Lambda expression and I'm passing a value, I want to add that value with this number I'm using within my uh, basic math method. So, and now because I'm returning a value, if I set my function to, uh, if I say, uh, let's say result is gonna be equal to basic, oops, basic math, like so, and I set a value to say 23, because I'm returning a lambda, it'll actually pick the number from that lambda and return it. So let me do a print results save that and run it so we actually see what happens here if i print result alone it will actually display that function because i'm just storing that function that's what this uh, result is remember we are returning a lambda expression and it actually seen that as a function that's nameless so if i wanted to actually see the result what i need to do is call 
the result function with a value. So let me just print that out using an F string. Well, let's use a, uh, the normal format specifier. So I'll just say results and I'll use the percent symbol and use D since it's for a, the result is going to return a whole number and I'll just do the uh, format symbol and say results and I'll pass in a value say 13. So now when I do this, it's going to understand that I want to take this guy right here, this number 13, which is this argument in my Lambda, and I'm going to add that to the number passed in this function. So uh, let's just go ahead and see that in action. So if I save that and press F5, I should get 36. So it's actually taking the, uh, it's actually adding 23 and 13 because it's going to return this function right here. And then because in basic math, I'm passing in this argument called number and I'm telling my num uh, Lambda expression to add these two numbers together. So that's what uh, that does. So uh, this is going to be a uh, quick and short tutorial. Lambda expressions are actually fun and interesting, but they can be quite confusing when you encounter them for the first time. So what I suggest you do is to kind of like practice so that you actually get a hang of it. And then you could go on and, you know, decide if you decide to study, you know, a Lambda expressions further, and you can actually go deep into the rabbit hole with Lambda expressions. But for now, this is where I'm going to call it quits because it's, remember, it's for a, an introduction. So I don't want to use complex concepts that will confuse you. Again, if you want to find out more about functions, you can check out the link. And if you want to find, find out more about uh, syntax formatting, you can actually check out the link as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.